Hi everyone and welcome to Angel Tarot Card Readings by Tim and this is our weekly angel forecast for Monday, May 18th through Sunday, May 24th. So this week we get into Mercury Retrograde. And um, before I get started with the cards here, by the way, we're going to be using the Mary Queen of Angels by Doreen Virtue. So I've been shuffling this deck and then shuffling the tarot just to kind of get the energy going through here. And what I've been told is just these next three weeks are all about patience, go a little slower, and don't lose faith. Because what I'm hearing is that these are going to be some trying times over these next three weeks. It's not anything that we need to be scared of. It's just something that we need to just know ahead of time so that we can kind of um, kind of know which direction that we need to move in. You know, if we know something's coming at us, uh, we're not blindsided. So we don't need to be blindsided by all of this. We just can know that, okay, I know that I need to make sure that I should be very cautious and careful and maybe speak a little slower and more in a calmer tone when I'm communicating with other people for these next three weeks, okay? Mercury retrograde has a tendency to create miscommunication between other individuals, um, you know, so just kind of be aware of that as you're going through these next three weeks, okay? So I, I was told patience and just go a little slower. And it, they're, they're saying that it's okay to kind of retreat you know, these next three weeks, it's, it's fine uh, and even longer because I'm feeling that as we get into the end of this month and then the first half of June may be lingering on that we may kind of want to step back a little bit and do a little bit more of a revamping, re so to speak, or a reevaluation of, you know, what, what we want to do. You know, now I'm taping this on Sunday for this upcoming week, and this is actually a new moon. So this is a great time for us to start taking a look as far as what we want to manifest in this new moon energy for May and into June. So take, take your time this week is what I'm hearing. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And I just uh, want to just quickly pray and ask what's going to be for our highest good for all concerned. And... Let's see what we've got coming up here. Oh, that one here. Okay. I like it when I'm shuffling the cards whenever they pop out like that. Those are the ones I usually end up using. So it tells me also that I need to stop because I had already been shuffling these for like 10 minutes before I do this just so I can kind of get the feel and the energy of the cards in here. Okay, we're going to do these three cards here and then I'm going to pull an extra card out of the Angel Tarot deck. So to get us started for Monday and Tuesday, this is about truth. And it says, I am lovingly honest with myself and others. Now, you know, this is, this is seeing the truth in the matter as, as we move from maybe some of the things that have occurred this past week, now moving into this one, we're starting to see the light. But a lot of times this is... Um, seeing the truth within our own selves that we haven't been seeing, and now it's time to actually face that reality. <laughs> Lately with this card, um, this is also about actually telling the truth. And this is also for our own selves, but you may be around other people that you're starting to notice aren't actually telling you the truth, and you're picking up on that. So this is, uh, this <laughs> lately, I, I, I hear uh, Megan Trainers, your lips are moving, but you lie, lie, lie a lot with this card. And um, that's what this is about. This is about seeing the truth and doing what's right for you, but also keeping your uh, antennas up for what's going, on, what's going on around you and actually seeing who's being truthful and who isn't because it, it's time to, as you move in these next few weeks, to remove yourself from those situations or energies of others that aren't so truthful, okay? So this is not necessarily a bad card. This is actually, again, kind of a warning card. As we get into the middle part of the week, this is forgiveness, all right? And it says, I'm willing to release old resentments so that I may enjoy my life. And now this goes back to, again, the past truth 
and seeing the truth that you haven't been seeing from uh, whether it be last week or last year or last decade, okay? This is actually finally seeing for uh, seeing things as they are for, and for what they are. And be willing to forgive yourself. But if this relates to another individual, this is actually um, Mother Mary's coming through with this energy here, asking us to release those old resentments and also Archangel Michael too, to cut those cords and once those cords are cut, that's where we can actually forgive that individual. Now, forgiveness doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, I forgive, um, you know, I forgive what you did. It, it's just simply saying, I forgive you. You don't have to actually forgive what they did, but you do have to forgive the person. And sometimes that's very difficult to do. But that's what this card is telling us, is that we need to really work through this week about forgiveness and letting bygones be bygones and, you know, uh, not mulling over things of, of what have happened in the past because that's just wasted energy when we can actually be focusing on the present moment and what's going on right now because we can't, we can't go back and undo what has happened in the past, but we can focus on how we wish to, um, handle the present moment and we can do that with grace and dignity is what I'm hearing with this. As we get into the weekend, this is action. And it says, today I take action related to the priorities that I had previously put off. So again, um, you know, this, this can, uh, I feel really hits home with me. And I'm thinking for a lot of you, you're going to be looking at this going, oh yeah, you know, there, there have been some things, especially that I said I was going to do and I didn't do it. I've been feeling guilty about that. This is saying to, to, to get moving on that. Okay. Um, it's okay to, you know, realize, you know, what has kept you, you know, this is the truth aspect of, you know, what has kept you from taking action and what can we do about that? And, you know, forgive yourself for, you know, not have, not have done a bit, been doing it sooner, but this is also saying that you can forgive yourself for that aspect and that part, but now it's time to actually put the plans that you have been kind of putting out blueprints, I'm seeing, you know, blueprints and writing out your list of priorities as far as what you wanted to do. Now let's get it into action, okay? So that's the messages for this week. So it's really all about just, you know, take it easy on yourself, but do take little baby steps and move forward to, um, you know, whether this be, you know, taking taking personal health actions, such as eating better uh, in your health and your diet, uh, eating more fruits, more vegetables. This could be detox on some level for some of you, but this is saying that this is time to actually make the move to do that and to create more of a healthier lifestyle and also a healthier uh, friendships and relationships as well is what I'm hearing with this too, okay? With this also, I'm getting more information that with this action, part of what some of us may have had guilt with is that we've set the priority list so long that there was really no way that we were going to get through all of that. So why don't we take a look at the list that we have and maybe cut that in half to make it more bite-sized and manageable, okay? And then once we tackle those, then we can get moving forward. That was a message for one of you, and I'm not sure who that was, but that was I was, I was told I needed to say that, especially with this action part here. Now, I want to just get an extra message. I've already shuffled these, so I'm just going to check and see what else we need to know in regards to our truth and forgiveness and action. This one here. And it is the Major Arcana number five, which is unity. And this is Archangel Sandalphone. It says, traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organizations, seeking out mentors and like-minded friends. So this does not surprise me that this comes up, especially when we're working with Mother Mary. And um, this, is, this is about, you know, the church. This is a spiritual beliefs and really taking a look at those spiritual beliefs. And this will help us align our actions with our truth. Um, you may 
also seek out advice from a mentor that this could be like a pastor, this could be uh, someone that is very highly spiritual, okay? So this card a lot of times is what that represents, is seeking out that advice. A lot of times this can be because this is about tradition, the card can also represent um, if something hasn't been working in a traditional approach, it may be time to do something different that's non-traditional, okay? I relate this a lot of times when I'm working with individuals that want to know about, you know, health and weight loss. And when this pops up, it's like, well, have you thought about holistic approaches rather than going to the going to our traditional doctor and being diagnosed that way? Have you also sought out not only your doctor's advice, but also something non-traditional? OK, so this card can also represent that as well. So I hope that these messages that come through for this week uh, resonate with you. And again, it's just a gentle week. Don't feel like you have to rush through it. Again, I would absolutely tell you to just take your time. Um, think before you speak is also what I would rec recommend for us, for the, especially this week, but also the next couple of weeks. Have a great week, everybody, and we'll see what next week looks like, okay? Take care. Bye now.